Well, hello there. Hi, guys. And welcome to a very outdoorsy edition <laughs> of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. Uh, this is a little strange. Oh, I'm Lee, by the way. I'm Jeremy. I'm outdoorsy Lee. Um, <laughs> Jeremy really wanted to actually do an episode outdoors because yes. we have the space now, as we've now moved to Dallas, Texas, as you all know. But as fate would have it, our washing machine flooded and it, the water went into the garage where we were filming previously yes. and so we have no choice but to film outside so it was divine intervention yes that i think made it happen um so here we are actually out in the garden on this kind of overcast day which is just perfect for pouring and we're super excited to be here um if we enjoy this and if it works just like we hope it does then maybe we'll do a few more out here right but mina villegas rest assured we will not be doing any midnight pause anytime soon. Hmm. See? I don't know. He's already trying to I get me. I don't know. He's already wanting to do a midnight <laughs> blooming pour. You never know. We'll see what happens. We do have lights, so we'll see what happens. So, to today's episode. Yes. Uh, Jeremy, in the previous episode, which was our Easter collaboration, thank you everyone for watching it, um, did the Jilly Cube um, Kiss and Blow. Kiss and Blow. And... It really did very, very well. Um, every, all of your comments were super positive, and we really loved the outcome of the piece. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I was gobsmacked, um, like truly gobsmacked, because you picked such amazing colors and you did it so well, and it was your first time doing it. Yes. So we're gonna both give it a go this time. What we are gonna do today, though, even though we're both doing the same technique, is we've picked our own colors. Yes. And we are re-pouring over a canvas that we have previously used. Yes. So um, these canvases were great, but there was just something about them on each of them that we didn't love. Exactly. Right, so yeah. I know you guys are gonna see these and be like, oh, we love those pieces, don't pour over them but we def definitely do want to use them again and and mm -hmm. so we're going to report um that's it guys please yeah. like and subscribe and um, we're having a lot of fun we're trying something a little different today and um, we're mixing it up so um if you like this we'd love the thumbs up and um i think that's it let's just get to pouring absolutely let's we will do this. see you at the outdoors table all right guys see you shortly Okay guys, it's Jeremy here, and as you can see, I got this nice large canvas in front of me that I'm going to be pouring over. How big is that canvas? Um, I think this is a 22 by 28. It is, I believe, yes. And um, it is gallery wrapped. Um, we have the bottom taped and pinned. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have my colors that I'm gonna be using today. And they are this Arteza Glacier Blue. Ooh, pearl, it's pearl, this pearl blue, yeah. Loving that. I have, a, uh, this is Golden's Dioxazine Purple. Beautiful color. Oh yeah. Um, this one, I'm questioning if it's the, what did you think it was? I think it's the Permanent Red Violet. The Permanent Red Violet. By Amsterdam. I think so too, by Amsterdam. Yeah. These are all colors that we had left over. So mm -hmm. now this one is a color that I made all of my own and it's this beautiful like light pinky kind of color which I'm in love with. And how did you make that? Um, I put a little bit of white actually with the Permanent got it. Violet. Got yeah. it, got it. Pretty. And then the last one? And the last one is this amazing, this is the Pearl Lime Green by Arteza. I love that one too. Yeah, this one's great, I love that. So when um, you pick colors and you so, you told me to do this, like think of flowers, you said, like they're very kind of like floral colors, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, super I wanted, cool. Yeah, I want it to be kind of lively and, and beautiful. Right. So I'm going to now uh, put the white on and then I'm gonna layer my colors here. Okay. So I think we might speed this up a little bit. I think bit. we will, I think we totally <laughs> will. And But what I just do wanna say that after you did this the first time round, you decided to put the white on first so you could tilt some yeah, of it so off. Yeah, so I can tilt some of the white off. Okay. I think I had too much white on it last time. Awesome, okay. Yeah. All right, then go for it, sir. Okay.
Okay guys, so I got my white right here. I'm going to pour some white on the edges and then I'm going to uh, swipe over the the colors. Okay. Because I want the colors to blend just a little bit. Got it. Before I start doing my kiss and blow. Okay. Okay guys, so I got that swiped. Now I'm going to blow the colors up and see how that is. And then I'm gonna start doing my, my balloons, my kisses. Okay. I'm gonna add a little green to this right here and blow a little bit of green up. Okay guys, so as you see, this is a process. The can I think I underestimated the size of this canvas because of the fact of I needed more paint on it. Um, and when I layered the paint, like I didn't put enough of the green right here, so I added a little bit more green over this side. Um, and then I went ahead and put a little bit more paint on the top here. Um, so now it is time to bam. To bam because I got to put some stems up uh -huh. and then, um, and then I'm going to do the kisses. Okay. Okay. Let's get at it. All right, here it is. Here it goes. Wish me luck, everybody. Good luck. I hope I'm I hope I'm channeling uh, Jilly right now. Ms. Goob. Okay guys, so as you can see, something happened. And what it was was that I started to do it and then I realized that Jilly lets it sit for 20 minutes to let the paint set. Right. So we stopped, we let it set for 20 minutes. Um, and as you can see, there's something over the painting, like keeping it safe. Well, this is a net that uh, that people use at picnics and other kind of things, um, uh, and we use it for our artwork. But the lovely Kathleen at Cost Creations, thank you very much. She sent this to us to help uh, keep all of the natural embellishments she did <laughs> and bugs out of our paint. So thank you so much, Kathleen. Thank for you, this. Kathleen. Yes, thank you. From the No Bra Zone. From the No Bra Zone. Okay, Thanks, can I East lift Coast this one up for you? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Because you know me, I will get it everywhere. I think you might. So, now that we've stepped away from it and let the paint set for 20 minutes, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen now with the composition of it. So, let's go ahead and start this over. Let's get this going. Let's see here. Oh, can I 
So guys, there you have it. I'm really in love with this piece. I think it came out really cute. I'm loving these little, looks like little, what do you call them? Uh, dandelions. Weird, dandelions and the ones that you, you pick up off the ground and you uh -huh. blow and yeah. the little things go everywhere. Yeah. Those are dandelions? Yeah. Oh, well I love those. I think this is so cute. Um, I'm loving the color from it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to get my edges mm -hmm. and we will take you in for a close up. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, so you just saw Jeremy do his blow, smash, kiss, Gillicube inspired balloon kiss all over his canvas. I gotta say folks, painting outside is not 
anywhere near as easy even as I thought it was going to be. Uh, now got a big block of sunlight on my canvas here which is going to kind of you know throw me some problems for sure in, in, in editing. Um, and we've got all sorts of uh, beasties and bits and pieces of trees flying into our paints and on our canvases and stuff. But you know what? This is extreme painting today and we're going to make this work. <laughs> um, I'm going to do exactly the same as Jeremy just did there um, with his colors with this process leaving it for 20 minutes blowing kissing the whole thing but what i am going to do is use different colors so let me show you what i've got now three of these are from the hippie crafter paint set that we reviewed not that long ago this is the mid yellow this is their blue and this is their green and then i also have my own mixture of quinacridone burnt orange mixed with a little bit of copper and a little bit of gold so that's in that pot right there and then this one is just a lovely shade of turquoise so those are my colors that i've chosen very different to kind of jeremy's very floral pinks and purples um but i wanted to mix it up and see what happens this is our blick white and i'm going to use this to to definitely layer at least two-thirds of the canvas now we are blick affiliates so if you are ever in need of any blick paints or if you really love the goldens blick is great for really great discounts on the goldens paints so what i want to tell you is that in our description box you will find a link and if you follow that link what it will do is take you to the blick website now it doesn't give you a discount i'm afraid off your paints but what it will do is give us a tiny little kickback for every order that you make so you'll actually be helping out the channel if you do so now let me put this white on my canvas and let's get to this All right, ladies and gents, so I've put my white base down. You saw me layer my colors. I swiped with the white, and now I'm gonna blow out my kind of tendrils here on this line. Now, I'm not gonna use the metal straw that Jeremy used. I'm gonna use the world's smallest blow dryer. <laughs> so let's get to this and see what I can do.
All right, now taking my popsicle stick, let's put some ah, natural bams on this thing. So my fear now is if I leave this for 20 minutes or oh, this encroaching sunshine that has the habit of moving from east to west <laughs> might blow out this whole painting. So I'm going to give this a go first with my balloon and just see what happens. I do have a lot less paint on here than Jeremy did. So I'm going to see if this if this actually does kiss and work out. All right. So I didn't I thought maybe I could get away with not waiting the 20 minutes to let this paint to set up. But as I did a couple of smashes into my white i realized that was not the case um in california mina gets visited by gail a lot uh here in texas we've got wendy wendy wind has decided to uh, make an appearance so it's got a little bit windy um however like i said all natural disasters aside we are going to continue on with this one and see what happens this is extreme acrylic fluid art today here is my balloon again now i'm going to start to kiss this canvas and see what happens Alright folks, so there you have it. This is my very first attempt at the kiss and blow. Um, mixed degrees, mixed, you know, varying degrees of success here, I believe. Um, I really loved the technique, definitely want to continue just playing around with it. I think probably I over smashed the area just a tad because it's it has the, the tendency to go a little too muddy but I do really like the fact that we've got more yellows here more blues. Um, I love all my little flowers other than this one. This one kind of gave me a little bit of a, a pain um, but um, I really really enjoy it. I think that it's an interesting technique that I would love to explore more 
So um, yeah, I'm happy, really happy actually. So let me get my edges real quick, make sure that everything on this canvas is covered, and then we'll take you guys in for a close up. Thank you guys. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Every day is a learning day, and today we learned a lot. We did. I not only learned about a new technique, I also learned about filming in the elements. Um, <laughs> so many things to think about, like the sun, the wind, flying obstacles, <laughs> bugs, all these things that you see on Mina's videos all the time and you're like, nah, it's okay. But actually when you're dealing with it like face to face, oh my gosh, it's a little tough. It's so crazy. Right? Yeah, it's totally it was is. really crazy. But um, I really did enjoy that technique. I think that the most successful one that I've seen us do so far was definitely the Aussie you did for Easter. I really, really loved that color combination. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that Easter smash and blow that you did, blow and smash, kiss and blow, whatever it kiss is. Kiss and blow. Kiss and blow. <laughs> was really awesome. Um, I enjoyed playing around with it. I over smashed mine. I overkissed it, um, so mine got a little muddy in areas, but there were other areas that I really, really liked. I thought um, it looked really good. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. I liked my flowers all but one. I overkissed that one. So, you know, I, we, we're always our most critical critiques, um, and there's a lot of things that I saw that I would do differently. However, what I love about this is that that makes me want to do it again. Absolutely. And do it differently. Absolutely. Right? Um, how about you? Did you enjoy yours? Oh, I love doing this technique. Yeah. Like the first time I did it on Sunday. Right. Um, I just loved it. Uh, I fell in love with it. And uh, Jilly said, be careful because it is addicting. And it is. It it's is. so much fun. And there's so much to it. Right. Um, but there definitely is an art form to it, right. you know, and, and there's, you know, there's so a process for sure. It's definitely a process. Right. Mm -hmm. And leaving the paint to, to sit on the canvas for that 20 minutes it's before key. you start smashing. It really is. It is. Because it doesn't matter how thick or thin your paint is, mm. just letting it get a little firmer, a little yeah. like drying up a little bit really does help. Yeah. Let's take you in to see another look at the wet pieces. Yes. So what did you think? We know you're gonna let us know in the comments and we would really appreciate it. Yes. Um, let us know if you wanna see some more outdoor pours. Um, until our garage dries, this is gonna be how it's gonna be, folks. Um, <laughs> but let us know what you thought, if you had fun with us, because we certainly had fun. Oh my God, it's it was so a much little fun. stressful, but it was still a lot of fun. Thank you to Kathleen for the wonderful nets, without yes. which we would have had all sorts of natural goobers flying into our paint. So thank you, Kathleen. We really appreciate yeah. you for the moving in gift. Um, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And if you're chatting to us on the premiere, thank you so very much. Patreons, we really appreciate you. Guys, go in and have a great week, and we'll see you back here on Friday night for another episode of Messy Art Studios. Yes. We'll see you then, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. So there are some extra special people that we want to say thank you to, and that's to our Patreons. Uh, or, as we like to call them, the Massey Posse. Now, the Patreon account is something completely separate to the YouTube channel, but it allows a certain few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the studio. Yes. And there are various levels. So, at one level, you might get to see sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes videos. What? 
<laughs> you might get up the opportunity to join us on our live WhatsApp chat group where we swap pictures and talk about techniques. Yes. Um, at a certain level, you get invited to once a month tutorials where we focus on a specific technique and we do it on a live stream, as well as separate live streams as well. Yeah. And for our diamond pourers, which is our highest tier, those guys get to pick the colors for one episode that we shoot on the YouTube channel, and then they get to pick one of the 11 by 14 canvases yes. to keep every single month. So we do have some people to thank, and that's at the gold level, we have Nate Bright, we have Gloria Solonki, aka Glitzy, we have Jane Klein, Trisha West, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Janice Swansea. Nice. On the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And then at the diamond level, Laurie Finzer, AKA Sparkles, Sparkles, who you all know and love. So thank you very much to all you guys. And then also thank you to everyone else down here below at the other levels. Yes. We absolutely appreciate you and thank you for being with us here on this journey.